Okay. Hi, I'm Robert Beaver, and I am the manager at the Wildlife Refuge. And our re wildlife refuge is a natural habitat for some endangered uh, species, including the whooping crane. Uh, we allow fishing and hunting on the refuge, including uh, geese hunting, where we have 10,000 geese land in our uh, uh, marsh every year. Um, we allow wildlife viewing of other animals. My name is Carrie Beaver, and I'm the secretary of the Kansas Department of Wildlife. The Quivira National Wildlife Refuge was formed in the 1950s. Since then, it's been the nesting place for several wildlife species. Rattlesnake Creek is the water source for the refuge. This water is needed to, make, to meet regulations of the Migratory Bird Conservation Act. It has been proposed in the past that we limit the use of water during certain seasons. That protects the whooping crane, which in, migrates in the fall and spring, and is the same for many different species. There should be a water use limit to regulate water year round and allow flooding in the wetlands during the year. I'm Adam Bruce, I'm an employee of the Golden Bell Feeders. We have 26,000 head of cows. The state of Kansas is the third uh, largest pr producer of beef. We contribute heavily to that, and we cannot continue with our head of cattle if the water supply is wet. Okay, my name is Jacob Bird, and I'm from uh, Crane Farms. As a farmer, you know that we need irrigation, and we get it from this local creek. Um, in the past, as, like, as Carrie said in the past, there's been restrictions that we've had to uh, abide by, and we've been doing a really good job at that. So why punish everybody, even the ones that are doing what they are supposed to? Not to mention, we are only 10% of all the creek is what we use. So we're not even that big uh, of how much we use. Uh, my name is Cooper Anderson, and I am the groundwater management board member. And in the past, we proposed that wells or pipes on the refugees allow water to be delivered whenever and wherever anyone needs in appropriate quantities. And we propose two locations for these. East is good quality water and it's stable. Drawback to this is proper placement to protect the aquifers from degradation. And it can be installed safely, so little is done to the land. And our second location is in the west, and there is good quality water. Drawback to this, still need to determine where to drill the holes. This committee of five has come to the solution of placing well fields on the west and east of the refugees. Okay, some of the drawbacks are that we still need uh, we still need research so we don't interfere with the aquifers nearby. Uh, some of the benefits would be this would regulate the water and spread it out throughout the refuge, and it would it would limit some of the water from being uh, taken from the creek. In conclusion, our community believes that this is the best solution because it meets all of our needs and it's sustainable.